On September 19th, 2024, the Akron Parks Collaborative, a nonprofit organization with a mission of revitalizing city parks, along with representatives of Habitat for Humanity of Summit County, City of Akron, Leggett CLC, and the APS District, dedicated the newly renovated Boss Park. The Akron Parks Collaborative, or APC, has been working with teachers and staff at Leggett CLC for over two years to improve this outdoor space. This park used to have a city-owned vacant lot that separated it from the school. This now finished project expanded the park size so that is now directly adjacent to Leggett CLC and is easily accessible through the gate near the playground. With teacher involvement and input, APC has created several spaces to bring classes for outdoor learning and movement. They are also creating new wildlife habitats for birding and other learning. Marissa Little, Vice President and Chief Program Officer for Habitat for Humanity of Summit County, opened the ceremony by discussing Habitat's involvement and the long, arduous process it took to get where we are today. We learned through COVID that public spaces are critical to the health and happiness of a community, offering a place to relax, to connect, and recharge. So it is even more important to the Friends of Boss Park group to transform this space to reflect the community's needs. And they did that. Drew Hall, Vice President and Chief Development Officer for Habitat for Humanity of Summit County, took the time to thank the many partners, donors, volunteers, and community members who helped make this park a reality. I will just wrap up one, one more time with a big collective thank you so much to everybody who came here today uh, to, to enjoy and witness the product of a lot of hard work. We'll great, we're grateful for your support and we're grateful, we are grateful for your presence here today. Ariana Willen, Program Director of Akron Parks Collaborative, gave an overview of what their role was in the revitalization of Boss Park. We are a nonprofit organization engaging our Akron neighbors in the revitalization of our city park spaces. We support citizen-led design and participatory budgeting, like what happened here at Boss Park, to create spaces that reflect the needs and desires of each unique neighborhood. We help build community ownership to bring vibrancy and community back to these city-owned green spaces. Yfrancy Lash, Deputy Director of Public Service for the City of Akron, talked about the city's commitment to community engagement. It is so important that uh, the community comes together uh, and partners to revitalize spaces like this for our community. We have positive places for our young people to go and positive places for all of us to come to. We believe that that empowers our community. And uh, park revitalization is a key component and a key ambition of this administration. We're going to continue working with Akron Parks Collaborative and all the partners, Habitat for Humanity, all the partners that were mentioned earlier, we're going to continue working, with, continuing doing the good work within the community. Dr. Michael Robinson, Superintendent of Akron Public Schools, talked about what this renovated space meant for students and education. Learning is not isolated to a classroom, but this is where they get to come, they can explore, um, they can inquire, and they can learn and, and hands-on, kinesthetically, tactically, they can learn uh, science right here at a park. So if you go home and tell your parents you're having science class at a park, they probably would wonder what you're doing, but you're actually having real class time, real school and engaging. And this is really what it's, it's all about. Ali Doring, Senior Director of the University of Akron Zip Assist, discussed the importance of mental health. Because we know that the mental health of our students, from our youngsters to our college students to our adults and our population, we continue to hear concerns about decreases in wellness. And so we thought, how could we create this space where community could gather, where folks could find a sense of belonging, and where you could do yoga, you could throw a frisbee, you could have a picnic, you could bring your family out here, you could walk your dog in a safe environment that was well lit. And that's where we started talking about an outdoor mental health oasis. And we were kind of like inspired by that. We were like, we just coined something really cool and we're going to make it a reality. Finally, Tony Gosmer, fourth grade teacher at Leggett CLC, talked about why this space was important to his school and students. I was fortunate to grow up in a rural community with lots of natural spaces. So I know how important it is to have daily exposure to the wavelength of light that's right around the 500 to 550 nanometers um, plane. <laughs> and in other words, the color green, chlorophyll. One of my first observations at Leggett was the lack of or virtually non-existent green space. I've had my own boss park for over 20 years. So like I said, I'm excited for this unique partnership. A partnership 
nature. Afterwards, the ceremonial ribbon was brought out. Principal Greg Blondheim and Dean of Students Cheryl Duvall organized their students to help with this very special moment. After the festivities, a birding demonstration was even given to the students by the kind people at Bath Nature Preserve. What else is there to say but that this wonderful space is clearly a win for the students, a win for the community, and a win for nature. <laughs>